Well, our goal for this video is to see if we can clean up some of these artifacts here that we created when we added those extra edge loops to kind of tighten up those edges. So, as I mentioned, we're going to be using a shrink wrap modifier. Actually, before we do that, I realize now I didn't put an image here in this window. Let me uh, change this to an image editor and go to image and open. And let's see if we can find in the reference image photos um, just an image that will give us another view of this vent. How about, uh, let's take a look at this one here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That gives us yet another viewpoint. All right, so our task here is to use this smoothing mesh to smooth these out. Well, let's go ahead and try that. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'll just twirl this up here, and then I'll add a new modifier, the shrink wrap modifier. So let's add that. And then our target will be our smoothing mesh. So I'm going to click here and choose smoothing mesh, and there we go. And, well, that's <laughs> not real good because we flattened the vent out. And in addition, we can still see a little bit of these artifacts. Now, what I can do to clean that up is just go over to the smoothing mesh, select it here in the outliner, and then increase the subdivisions over here. Say we can increase that up to four. So that cleans that up. You can see how we're going to be able to clean up those tiny artifacts by shrink wrapping the object to a smoother mesh. Now, that's all well and good, but what about the vent? Well, for the vent, what we're going to do is we're going to say to Blender, I would like these points out here to be affected by the shrink wrap modifier, but the points that make up the vent, I don't want them to be affected. So we need to kind of create a group of all the points that are going to be affected by the shrink wrap modifier and put that group right in here in this vertex group field. Say to Blender, I want the shrink wrap to only affect what's in this group. So first of all, let's just make a group with everything, with all the points in it, and then we'll remove the points that we do not want to be in that group. All right, so with all of these selected, I'm going to come over to this object data properties right here. Actually, let me uh, bring these up a bit so we can see this a little bit better. And here is our vertex group. I'll just spin that up. And we can create a vertex group right here by clicking the plus. And I'll rename this and call this uh, hood smoothing. Let's do that just so we know what it is at a glance. Now, with all of these selected, I'm just going to click Assign. Now, that really hasn't changed much because it was already pulling on everything. What we need to do now is to take all of those points that make up the vent and pull them out of the group. So, one way to do that is just to select this edge. I'm going to Alt-click this and Alt-Shift-click this. And we hide this. Actually, let me go back and turn off the subdivision modifier for just a moment and the shrink wrap as well so we can kind of see this a little bit better. There we go. So all I've done is selected this edge and this edge all the way around the vent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hide it with the H key. And then I'm going to hover over one of the points of the vent and hit the L key. And the L key is the tool that allows us to select all linked components. Now that we have all of these selected, let's pull them out of that vertex group. So back here in the object data properties, I'm just going to click remove. And there we go. Now let's bring back those points that we've hidden. We can come up here and go to mesh, show hide, and we can choose reveal hidden or alt H. I'll just click that here. Now let's give this a try again. Let's go back to our modifiers panel. I'll turn on the subdivision surface modifier. I'll turn on the shrink wrap modifier. And then let's go into this vertex group and choose that hood smoothing. And there we go. Now you can see we've smoothed this to get rid of those artifacts here and here, but we're keeping what we've extruded up with the vent. Let's now come up here and go to our mat cap and take a look at it. And that looks pretty good. Now, we could, of course, take this and add more subdivisions. We can turn it up to three. 
four, whatever. We're getting a little bit of an edge here at four, but three's pretty good. Two's not bad as well. So that's our process for fixing smoothing errors when we have to extrude a piece out or have edges very close together. We're going to use this shrink wrap modifier. Now, we may not need it for every part of the car, but I think it's going to come in handy in a few other places. All right, in the next video, we'll begin working on the front fender.